My name is Randall Liss, and I'm here to discuss options with you. In particular, today I want to talk about time. I want to talk about spreading time using options. Time is spreadable. Now, time is a huge factor in the pricing of an option, and I can and have taught entire classes on just the aspect of trading time in the form of a time spread, sometimes horizontal, same strike, sometimes diagonal, both with different months. However, today, I'm just going to give you a little bit of a taste. Wet your interest, hopefully. A time spread is a great way of trading a first this, then that scenario. Let me give you an example. Let's say your premise is, after the great rally of 2013, people will take profits and the market will sell off in December. And then in January, with a clean slate and reloaded guns, the market will resume its march higher. How can you trade that? Well, you can do it this way, in the form of a horizontal, same strike, time spread. Let's say you sell a just out of the money December index call. And you buy a just out of the money January index call. If your premise is correct, the December call goes out worthless. And your January call is a lot cheaper because its price has been offset by the expiring December call. And if you're wrong, it's a minimal risk trade because you are not net short options. When I was a market maker on the floor, I used to use time spreads all the time, so to speak, long and short. Now I'm going to give you another trading hint. This is just a taste of time spreading. Hope it whets your interest. As I said, here is a fact about the horizontal time spread. The time spread is widest at the strike price, and you can take advantage of this. How do I know this? Well, we can do this logically. Let's look. We will take a mythical index or stock, XYZ. It's trading at 100. And we have the super deep in the money, and we have the super far out of the money, and we have here, let's say, the January and the Aprils, just as an example. With a super deep in the money call, say the 10 call, it is so far deep in the money that the time difference between Jan and Ape will be more or less nothing. They'll both trade at parity or very close to it. And let's say then we had the way far out of the money, let's say the 200 call. That is so far out of the money, the difference between the Jan and the Ape will be more or less zero. So, what does logic tell us? What can we extrapolate? As the stock approaches the strike from either down or up, the time spread will widen from zero. Meaning, the time spread will be widest with the stock or index exactly at the strike. So how can we take advantage of this? Okay, let's say we're a little bullish, but we don't want to bet the ranch. We can buy the further term 80 call, sell the shorter term 80 call. We're buying the time spread. This time spread will widen as we approach 100. The same is true if the stock is 120 and we're a little bearish. We once again, we buy the farther term, we sell the shorter term because the spread will widen as the stock approaches the strike. Conversely, let's say the thing is exactly at 100 and we don't know if it's going up or down but we're pretty sure it's not going to stay pinned to 100. In that case, we sell the time spread. We sell the farther term, we buy the nearer term. 
we sell the time spread because the time spread will contract as the stock moves away from the strike. An easy, low-risk way of trading a bit of direction. Once again, this is just an idea of what you can do trading time. If you want to learn more, my website is www.thelistreport.com. My name is Randall Liss. My specialty is in simplifying and demystifying exchange-traded options. Thank you for your attention.